Welcome back to a brand new Clash Royale video, guys. My name is Patrick, aka Cheap Pat, and today we're going to be hopping into the Magic Archer Challenge inside of Clash Royale, trying to finish off our 12 and 1 run, where currently we sit 9 and 1 at 3 11 a.m. That's right. I told you guys inside of the last video I was staying up late to get this challenge done. It came out at 2 a.m. my time, and hopefully I can clock it off right now with a 12 and 1 victory. And let's see if we can do it. Honestly, the Magic Archer has been pretty fun to play with. I think it seems like one of the more technically skilled cards inside of the game as far as like getting its angles right and stuff like that and uh, yeah let's see if we can get it done right now looks like we're gonna be having graveyard or balloon I'm gonna take graveyard even though I've taken balloon in most other matchups I'm gonna take the magic archer right here I'm drafting like an animal right now Sparky instead of Elite Barbarians, guys. What have I done? And following it up, we're going to play our Goblin Knight. Okay, I feel terrible about this draft. So as soon as the camera come on, comes on, you guys know the deal. We're going to be taking on Back Acne right here. And uh, let's see if we can take Back Acne down. But this has been a very interesting start to the game. Now, he does have Princess, so I'm going to respect that by playing my Goblin Hut in a little bit different of a position. I do know that we can take uh, him out pretty squarely with our goods. Here goes my arrows to kill this princess. Ooh, I thought for a second we were going to miss that princess. I'm going to let the fire spirits run forward, play my ice spirit. So far, so good in front of this one, or inside of this one, guys. Ice spirit going to go down now. Magic archer going to roll in. Oh, wow. This is going to be an interesting push. We didn't play our goblin hug far enough up, though. Oh, man. We're about to take a balloon to the face, plus some fire spirit shots, guys. Does not feel good at all, but our bandit will connect on the tower for a little bit of payback right there. And, uh, yeah, not the worst thing in the world. 1,100 HP left on that side right there, but we've got to find a way to finish this one off, and I, I feel like this is going to be a difficult one. All right, let's do this. Let's do Lumberjack Graveyard. I'm feeling like an animal right now, guys. I don't know what happened, but after this Lumberjack goes down, I simply lost my mind a little bit. We're trying to get our Sparky down. He's going to actually end up activating my Rage Spell by killing my Lumberjack, so not the worst thing in the world right there with that push. And in the end, we're actually going to take him down really well. Now, Goblin Hut's going to go down here. Again, I did miss the balloon, so if he plays a balloon, this is going to get ugly on this side. I'm going to arrow down the princess and miss the king tower or the arena tower, unfortunately. One fire spirit will connect, but so far this battle's been okay. And uh, now I've got ice spirit and magic archer to try to take him out. This dark goblin, though, so annoying. It's going to end up connecting onto our tower, and I'm going to just have to let it do its thing right there. All right, looks like we're at 756 HP, guys. And uh, we've got to find a way to make this work, but I'm feeling good. Ice Spirit to clean this up. I've got my Bandit to make sure this fire, these Fire Spirits don't come out. Check that out right there. Bandit's going to make sure they don't do anything. It's going to go ahead and turn on to this Electro Wizard. Obviously, can't do much there. Get my Lumberjack right here. And what direct spells does this guy have? If he doesn't have the proper spells, guys, we're going to be really good. Check out this Sparky, though. Sparky's going to go in. I don't think he has a Zap right now. So check out this Sparky. Decimate those Elite Barb. That's exactly what I'm talking about, guys. And uh, wow, this has turned much more in our favor. Wow, Dark Goblin's going to go in. Let's take that Dark Goblin out. Oh, wait. Oh, no, the Electro Wizard, guys. I forgot about the Electro Wizard. I forgot about the Electro Wizard. Electro Wizard's going to beat us up right now. Oh, man, this is a little bit ugly. Let's get our Lumberjack Ice Spirit coming in. Ice Spirit to start to stop this Dark Goblin before it completely takes us out. And what direct... This guy has to have some sort of direct damage. I have no idea what he's doing. Oh, I just arrowed a Fire Spirit and I missed. Guys, I have no... It's 3... 15 in the morning guys give me a little bit of a break we're at 122 hp i'm gonna get my sparky going down on this side simply no respect for my opponent bandit hopefully can do something right now all right his dark goblin's gonna run forward which is bad for him i'm gonna get dark goblin or i'm gonna get my ice spear going in onto this barbarian right here but man magic archer oh this magic archer is gonna hit the king or the arena tower check that out sparky's gonna lock onto the tower guys this is a miracle right now I'm going to drop a graveyard. Let's just do it. Graveyard's going in. Bandit going in here. The dream is alive and well. The bandit's going to connect onto the tower. GG well played. And that's going to be the win we need. I'm trying not to yell and wake up my neighbors. And hopefully it's working. If my neighbors are watching this, I'm sorry. 247 left in OT. And that's going to be win number 10. All right, let's go. Sparky Graveyard. The combination no one believed in, but it's going to give us double digit wins inside of this challenge. Two more wins to unlock the newest legendary card. I got to take them just for good luck. Honestly... He's just been so good to us. I got to show him some love right now. Royal Giant or Golem. We're going to take the Golem, but Royal Giant definitely isn't something to uh, mess around with. It can do damage if you're not playing a meta deck, uh, for sure. Obviously, at regular tournament standard, it's garbage, but inside of draft mode, you, you never know. All right, anyways, we're going to start this one off pretty casually. I, I've got some good defense cards to start this off, just to cycle with my Ice Spirit. He's going to get his Princess down. Guys, when I said play defensively, I lied. I'm going to play my Golem right now. He's going to play his Royal Giant. And uh, how are we going to do this? All right. I think I'm going to do 
Ice Golem, and then Minions. If I played Minions naked, I think he, he would have taken me out. So I'm going to use these Minions right here. And that's going to do a great job. See, he would have just played that Ice Wizard sooner if uh, we, we played our original play. All right, he's going to zap that down. Terrible choice right there because now look at this. Look at this. Look at the damage right there from our Magic Archer, guys. Golem's going to lock on. And guys, what else can we do but clone this? Let's be real right now. What else can we do but clone this, guys? Clone spell is going to buy us a little bit of time to let this golem beat up that tower. And now we got to play Ice Spirit. We got to play our uh, Ice Golem potentially. Actually, just Ice Spirit will work out for this. Those elite barbarians have been tossed around uh, like no other right now. Arrows needs to avoid the goblins. Are you joking me? Man, Ice Spirit jumped onto a goblin, which isn't what we needed to take a hit onto our tower. But still, I'm feeling great. And let's go ahead and continue this love. All right, let's do this. Oh, man. Six elixir, seven elixir. Let's keep this up. E barbs obviously are pretty ferocious. Ice golem minions. Once again, guys, we need to make sure we protect these minions at all costs. I know he has zap. See, see what I'm doing with that ice golem there, guys. I know he's gonna play something like this, and that's how we avoid it. Ice spirit gonna go down now, although he probably has something to take us out. All right, that's gonna be a little bit sketchy. Arrow going in though, but honestly, the magic archer by itself, if it does have a weakness, number one, it's gonna be the fireball. Number two, it doesn't do that much direct damage by itself. All right, I was gonna take that to the king tower, but this pull, actually, that probably did the same amount of damage. Maybe that saved me one goblin hit, but I didn't activate my king tower uh, for the cost of it. And uh, yeah, I think it's gonna be a lot of defense inside of this one, but of course, the elite barbarians, it's really tempting in double elixir to try to defend them using just a, you know, using just my ice golem and my minions, and let's go and use our minions now, but there, there's the play we're talking about right there. As soon as we let our guard up, he's gonna go ahead and throw down his RG. This should tear our tower up, but we're gonna have a really nasty counter push, guys, so I'm not, don't feel too bad for me for too long. Uh, I'm gonna let our Ice Golem, no, I'm gonna get our arrows in right now. Massive arrow value. Ice Golem's gonna run in front, but just a little bit too late, guys. Ice Golem's gonna move over here. Elite Barbarian's gonna still keep running, though. And uh, let's go and get our Ice Spirit going in. But wait, I think I might have made mistakes because we haven't taken his tower yet. I need to get a Golem going down right now. Guys, this is bad. This is not what we wanted. Wait, did I really throw this by not aiming for the other tower? Her, our Golem's going to run forward, guys, but it's so slow because of this Ice Wizard. Royal Giant is beating us up. Golem's going to run its way over. I need to freeze this right here. Are you joking me? Are you joking me? I am so bad at this game. I don't know how to describe it. I was decimating him. Wow, I'm like really upset right now. It's 3.20 a.m. I'm giving you a play-by-play -play on the clock, but that's just because I'm so mad about how this has gone so far. <sighs> All right, if I, if I lose this, guys, I don't know what to do. I'm gonna be a sad, sad panda, so I'm hoping you guys uh, don't get sad panda cheap pat. Man, let's get this going right now. We're 10 and two. We need two straight wins to finish this one off in style. And guys, there's no other way to do it than the Ice Golem Graveyard, the bridge. Guys, you know I don't mess around. I go hard in the paint for our dubs. But to zap this down, I didn't mean to zap the tower, unfortunately. But it happened, so let's move on. Uh, looks like we're going to get almost zero damage, which is not ideal, believe it or not. And as this Dark Goblin comes through, going to Ice Golem this down. Obviously, guys, he plays pre pretty well into the graveyard with the... Uh, with the royal, um, no, the magic, magic archer. There's so many royal things that I want to call it like a royal archer or something like that. Anyways, moving on, got to play our hunter on top of it to blow it up. Looks like that should do good. Ice golem to follow up to make sure our hunter doesn't die as it blows up this uh, royal giant. One more shot will be more than enough right there. But wow, this is, uh, this is, this could be where everything falls apart. But I I'm feeling good. I'm still feeling okay about this one, guys. We've got our P.E.K.K.A., which is going to be great against this royal giant. I don't know how else he's going to get damage against us. Um, let's get our fire spirits down. He's going to play his golem. I think our fire spirits will actually, two of them will connect. Very nicely done. So we're going to get two, about 400 damage from that. We've got our P.E.K.K.A. on this side, and this battle's turning around. Obviously, the P.E.K.K.A. is going to play pretty well into this push. And I've got Fireball to play on his, uh, wait, is that going to get value on my tower? Are you joking me? See that action right there from the Magic Archer, guys? It's going to get value onto my tower. Uh, questionable Tornado, to say the least. It will save him a little bit of damage, maybe, but at this point, we should be able to go for an aggressive push unless this Dark Goblin just destroys us, which it's going to. So, let's let this all go in right now. Graveyard's gonna go in. Fire Spirits are gonna go in. I think this is gonna be the push that we need to take this tower out, guys. Fire Spirits are sprinting forward towards those goblins. Do you see that Fire Spirit right there hopping in like a legend? That's gonna be tower number one going down to zero, and we are right back in this game. That's what we needed. Uh, things got a little bit hairy right there. 
But this is why we don't give up. We never surrender. I'm gonna go ahead and get our Ice Golem to tank up these Spear Goblins. And uh, wow, that's gonna tank a single Spear Goblin. Very unfortunate. Pekka's gonna go in. Let's make sure this time that we're not doing anything too bad. Hunter's gonna go down on this uh, on this beautiful Magical Archer right here. Magic Archer, Magical Archer. Tomato, Tomato, Fireball gonna go down. And do we wanna go for three crown? What do we wanna do, guys? We can do Graveyard for a three crown right here, or we can try. I'm gonna go ahead and actually do that right now. Let's let the graveyard go in. He missed his, he actually missed his uh, royal, his royal whatever right there. So that's pretty tragic. Pekka's gonna keep on waddling towards the tower. He's not playing anything to defend against the Pekka guys. Fire Spirit's gonna run through. That's gonna be GG well played. One more win to give us that 12 win challenge. But still, I'm thinking about last battle. I should have won last battle a hundred times over guys. And I'm very sad that that's not the case. So hopefully we can, we can make this happen and, and not make this a sad story. All right, 11 and two, let's do this. One more push, Mega Knight or Miner. Mega Knight just got nerfed, but I gotta play it. I gotta play the Mega Knight, Ice Spirit or Dark Goblin. Dark Goblin, secret OP guys, we're gonna play that. I'm gonna play, oh man, I'm gonna play the Magic Archer over the Executioner. I'm putting faith in that. And I'm gonna play Balloon over to Graveyard because, uh, I'm gonna play Balloon over Graveyard because I, I have Dark Goblin to deal with Graveyard and Magic uh, Archer, which you guys saw in the last battle. Actually works well when you play it on the same side. He sort of just messed it up. So we've got Giant Balloon. We've got a couple different options right now. And how do we wanna do this? All right, let's chill. Okay, he's gonna do that. Let's not chill. Let's go hard in the paint. Giant Balloon's gonna come in. What does he have? Does he have Rocket? No, he doesn't have Rocket. He's gonna give this tower up probably. And let's see how what ha or you might play something interesting. I'm gonna get my Mega Knight ready at a moment's notice, but wait, we're just gonna go for a three crown, guys. Let's go for a three crown right now. He's gonna throw his graveyard down. Let's drop the GG well played. That's gonna be the end of the battle, I think. Poison spell is gonna do so well. His tornado gonna put on the moves to us. Heal spell needs to do something. Heal spell needs to do something. The dark goblin's gonna come back to life. The giant's gonna come back to life. This is the best. Day of my life! No, okay, I'm just glad this is over because we needed to get that dub, the easiest 12 win I've ever had, I have to be honest. Way too aggressive with this graveyard right there. Three crowns to one, and that's gonna wrap it up for this video. All right, 12 and two, guys. We got the beautiful magic archer after all of that hustle. He's gonna finally be unlocked. Opening up our chest. Maybe we can get another magic archer. Let's see what we get. Inferno dragon heal. We're gonna get all this stuff. Come on, magic archer, magic. We're not gonna get any of that, but wait. Wait, 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 wait. Well, let's do card collector and get get our Valkyries, but it's time. Uh actually I'm gonna wait on the legendary king's chest. Let's let's open this one up right now. I'm gonna open I'm gonna open the other one in a bit. I'll open it for another video, but let's just cruise through this one, guys. All we need is legendary cards. My game literally just bugged out. And now I can't open any more. Oh wait, okay, we're good now. We're good, we're good, we're good. Let's get one more right now. I'm delusional. Guys, I need to go to bed. I'm sure you can figure that out by now. Our iPad just will not register the taps because we're hitting them too hard. One more card. What is it going to be, guys? Give me that royal magic archer, whatever you're called. Eh, I'll take a royal ghost. Not bad. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Again, we unlocked the uh, we unlocked the magic archer within an hour and a half of him being released. Not too bad for a speed run, and that's going to do it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Best of luck in your magic archer challenge. Uh, I'd say draft him about 65% of the time for a random estimation. That's going to do it. Until next time, I will see you guys later. Peace out.